Hey Deckers, well can you believe it? The community has done it once again and Alan Wake 2 is up and running on the Steam Deck. Okay, it's not the greatest FPS, however, it is working for those that can bear with it. Huge thanks to Philippe RSTV for showing us how to do this on his stream. Check out his channel and give him a like and a thumbs up for commenting in his description exactly how to do this. And I'll go through the English guide for this as well at the end of this video if you want to get it up and running. First off, this does give you an error when you run it this way. Even if you have it installed on the SSD, it doesn't think that it is and will give you an SSD error. Settings wise, this is running pretty much at the lowest settings and I've got this at FSR2 quality with motion blur and film grain off. Everything else is pretty much at the default low settings, except I did bring the scattered object density down to medium as well. Overall, it performs okay. It's not the greatest and that FSR2 quality mode definitely shows up in a few areas, especially when we got large amounts of sunlight and reflections and the hair also doesn't look quite right. But if you're desperate to play this on the Steam Deck, then this is definitely a way to do so. Of course, you can run GeForce now, which you can see here which does run this much better, but you will have to pay for that. And if you want more info on that and a bit more gameplay, then I'll link the original video for that in the description below as well. When we're in the mine place, we get between 30 and 40 frames per second and everything runs nice and smooth. However, especially running through some of the darker areas of the forest. And when we come into the town with all those effects, the FSR2 issues really start to show up. It really doesn't handle the reflection and the aliasing too well. And it looks like we've got a sparkly effect across the whole town here and a large amount of ghosting on the characters as well so this will work between 20 and 30 frames per second most of the time in a lot of the areas so it is borderline playable on the steam deck however it's not the greatest way to play okay to get this up and running on the steam deck first you're going to want to completely shut down your steam deck and i mean power it off completely and then power it on holding the power button and volume up to get to the settings menu, once you hear the beep of the boot up sound, let go of the power button and you should get to this menu. Then go to setup utility, then go down to advanced and then find the option of UMA frame buffer size and change this to 256M and then press the two squares in the top left of your deck to save your settings and exit. Then boot into desktop mode and search the Discover Store for Heroic. If you've already got Heroic Launcher installed, you can skip this step. But once you've got that installed, fire up Heroic Games Launcher. And under Accounts, you'll need to sign in to your Epic Game Store account so it will sync your library. If your library doesn't appear to be syncing correctly, you'll need to log out and back in of your account. For some reason, it doesn't always update correctly. To make sure that you just log out and back in if you haven't got your latest library. Once you've got your library showing up, install Alan Wake 2 to the place of your choice and wait for that to download. Once downloaded, if you try to run this, it will ask you about picking a default mine and we're saying that we're going to run this under Proton Experimental and it will just do nothing. So what you need to do is go into the settings is the settings icon on the top right of the Alan Wake 2 page. It says it has cloud saves. Unfortunately, I haven't seen this working. My cloud save has not come across and it's not been synced anywhere else. So this is a feature in development. So bear in mind that for now, you will be locked to having your saves on this device. Scroll up and hit wine tricks. This will open up a new program. Select the default wine fix and press OK and then hit the top option of install a Windows DLL or component. There is three that you need to install here in total. Scroll until you find D3D compiler underscore 47 and tick that one, as well as D3D compiler underscore 43. And scroll pretty much all the way to the bottom and also tick VC run 2022. Click OK and this will run through a whole bunch of installs. You'll keep getting this pop-up saying unknown file arch. Just click OK and dismiss this. It will pop up a few times as well as a 64-bit wine prefix warning. But again, you don't need to worry about that. Just click OK until it's completed. You'll know when it's completely finished as it will pop up the wine tricks box again. Once that's finished, you can cancel out of the dialog and that will bring you back to the main setting screen can now close this window and then before you leave press the 
three dots up in the top right and say add to Steam. This will allow you to launch it directly from game mode without going through the Heroic Games launcher. Now you can switch back to game mode, launch the game and be playing Alan Wake 2 on your Steam Deck and good luck getting your FSR2 settings to something that you are okay to look at whilst maintaining approximately 30 frames per second. Let us know in the comments below if you've got this up and running and how your experience has been with the game so far. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner.